BM Birla Planetarium is a large planetarium in Chennai providing a virtual tour of the night sky and holding cosmic shows on a specially perforated hemispherical aluminium inner dome. It is located at Kottapuram in the Periyar Science and Technology Center campus which houses eight galleries, namely, Physical Science, Electronics and Communication, Energy, Life Science, Innovation, Transport, International Dolls and Children and Materials Science, with over 500 exhibits. Built in 1988 in the memory of the great industrialist and visionary of India B. M. Birla, it is the most modern planetarium in India. Other Birla planetariums in India include the MP Birla Planetarium in Kolkata, the Birla Planetarium in Hyderabad, and the planetariums in Tarushrapalli and Korimbatore. Topic: <laughs> Location. The planetarium is located in the Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Centres (TNSTC) Periyar Science and Technology Centre campus on the Gandhi Mandapam Road in Kottapuram, abutting the Central Leather Research Institute campus. It lies close to the Gindi National Park in the predominantly wooded Adyar Gindi region, known as the Green Lungs of Chennai, enabling it to conduct night sky observation comparatively easily, which is otherwise difficult amidst the glaring city lights in the night. Other nearby landmarks include the IIT Madras, Adyar Cancer Institute, Anna University, University of Madras Gindi campus, and the Anna Centenary Library. The nearest railway stations are Kottapuram MRTS in the northeast and Kastabay Naga MRTS in the southeast, both located at a distance of 1 km from the planetarium. The Kottapuram bus stop lies 2 km to the north. History The Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Centre was established in 1983 and is functioning with the financial assistance of the government of Tamil Nadu. The centre started its operations in 1988 with the setting up of Periyar Science and Technology Centre and the functioning of the Birla Planetarium. The centre functions under the chairmanship of the Minister of Education. The planetarium was inaugurated on the 11th of May 1988 by the then President of India R. Venkataraman. There are about eight staff at the planetarium. The centre has branches in Coimbatore, Vellore, and Trichy. Topic: <laughs> Planetarium features. The planetarium is equipped with a versatile opto-mechanical go-to GM2 starfield projector, an accompanying special effects projector and an XY table system for simulating various celestial phenomena. The GM2 projector has the provision to execute the diurnal, annual, latitudinal, and processional motions. The pierced hemispherical inner dome of the planetarium, made of aluminium, is 15 meters in diameter. The air-conditioned theater has a seating capacity of 236. The total outlay proposed for the 10th five-year plan 2002 for the Periyar Science and Technology Center and BM Birla Planetarium was 6.4 million rupees, including 2.6 million rupees for the XY table system at the planetarium. In 2009, the planetarium established the 360-degree sky theater, the first in India, with the installation of a full-dome mirror projection system with a DLP projector. The 360-degree effect is created with the help of RAP, a special software that takes care of curvature correction. The projector was installed at a cost of 2.1 million rupees. The planetarium building features a circumferential hall of fame around the main theatre with portraits and statues of scientists and photographs and models of various heavenly bodies, celestial phenomena and space missions. 
In 2009, the U.S. consulate at Chennai donated portraits of Neil Armstrong, Sunita Williams and Kalpana Chawla for display in the Hall of Fame to commemorate increasing Indo-U.S. space ties. The planetarium also offers courses in astronomy and night sky observations. There is a seminar hall and a classroom studio at the planetarium, where discussions and workshops are conducted by eminent personalities in the field of astronomy. The planetarium organizes a special show on every second Saturday of month to view the night sky from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Under Part 2 scheme for the year 2011-2012, the state government has sanctioned an amount of 1.5 million rupees for the modernization of the planetarium by providing six-segment multimedia projection system. Topic. Shows The planetarium conducts sky shows every day at different times in different languages. The shows include the Solar System, Sky and Seasons, Eclipses, Earth, Man on Moon, Comets, Shooting Meteoroids, Stellar Cycle and the Deep Sky. As of 2007, since its inception, the planetarium has introduced 35 programs on these topics. Audiovisual programs on various aspects of astronomy and different cosmic phenomena are also shown. Program themes are changed every three months. Shows are conducted in English and Tamil. The planetarium and the Science and Technology Center is open on all days except on national holidays from 10 a.m. to 5.45 p.m. The Science and Technology Center, however, receives complaints on lack of maintenance of the scientific displays at the Science Park. Other exhibits Topic. DRDO Pavilion In 2013, the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO began setting up a DRDO pavilion on the planetarium campus in collaboration with Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center the DRDO gallery will have a covered area of 5,000 square feet built in the existing building, with additional open space made available for large life-size models and exhibits. The pavilion, being constructed at a cost of 8.5 million rupees, is aimed to showcase the works undertaken by the DRDO in its 50 laboratories across the nation in the fields of aeronautics, electronics, armaments, engineering systems, instrumentation, missiles, combat vehicles, advanced computing and stimulation, naval systems, special materials, training, information systems, life sciences, and agriculture. The exhibit will showcase various models of gun, including the advanced machine guns and AK-47s, historical developments of gun, construction of cut section of gun, scale-down model of BrahMos 1.3, a supersonic cruise missile, Prithvi, a tactical surface-to-surface short-range ballistic missile, Agni, a family of medium to intercontinental range ballistic missiles, electronic equipments, electronic radars, electronic and communication systems, and life-supporting devices. It was also exhibit a model of a specialized clothing designed by DRDO, used by the Indian soldiers deployed at Sharkin Glacier as protection against freezing temperatures. Topic. Future In April 2013, the state government upgraded the planetarium into a digital one at a cost of 10 crore rupees. The 3D theatre in the complex was also upgraded. In April 2013, the Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Centre announced its plan of setting up a space gallery at a cost of 6 million rupees in collaboration with the Indian Space Research Organisation. The gallery showcases the development of space technology in India. 
There are plans to showcase models of Satellite Launch Vehicle SLV, Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV, and Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV in the gallery, in addition to a 10M long scale-down model of SLV 1.6, kept in a horizontal position, to explain the first, second and third stage of a rocket. A mock-up control room will also be established to explain about how a rocket is launched into the space and the ways to observe the trajectory of the rocket. See also Swami Vivekananda Planetarium, Mangalore List of planetariums <laughs>